it and here we have the main label of the gateway so you can see the product model you can see that's an aruba 9000 for rest of world branch gateway we can see the serial number the mac address over here and then we can see there is a seal so it will prevent the box from opening so let's cut that seal to open up the box so let's see what's inside of the box first of all here we have our safety compliance and warranty information small leaflet then we have our startup guide which has the most essential information about this gateway and it includes a qr code so with this qr code you can get to the other information like the installation guide and so on further we have here a box and let's see so this is our power supply so the power supply comes with the box let's open up this small box and see what's inside so here we have our power supply so on the thin side we have a small connector which goes into the gateway and here we have a standard power inlet the power cable is ordered separately so i don't have it here at the moment so then what have we further so this is a standard micro usb cable which can be used for the console connection so this will go into the computer and you have the micro usb in the gateway then here we have a small clip this small clip can be used to attach the thin power cable to the unit itself and here is the unit itself so let's open that up So here we have the compliance label, we have the labels with the serial number and the MAC address and that should match what's on the box. Then here we have the system indicator, we have our WAN connectivity indicator. Then we have our local area network status over here. And this uh, indicator is for the wireless LAN gateway status. This is for the cloud connectivity status and the last one is for the cellular connectivity. So this box comes in a model where there is a built-in LTE modem for cellular. Uh, but on this box, if we turn it around, you can see there is a USB port. So we can use that to put in a cellular dongle for the backup connection, for example. And uh, you can see on the front on the indicator what the status is of your cellular connection so let's get back to the back of the appliance so first we have the power inlet so this is where the connector will go in then we have a recessed a reset button so you need to have a pin to press the reset button then we have four network ports over here which can be used for a local area connection but also for the wide area connection uh, these ports are multifunctional. Then here we have the console ports. So you can use the micro USB cable which was supplied with the box. Or you can use a standard RJ45 serial console cable to connect to the console of this appliance. Then we mentioned already the USB port which you can use as well to charge your iPhone. And we have a, here a lock for a standard Kensington lock. So if you need to tie this box to a cable you can use the standard Kensington locks to uh, attach this to uh, the store where you're placing it. So as mentioned uh, we have our power supply. If you put in the power cord then it can get loose easily. So we have that small clip. So uh, let's see how we can attach that clip. So there's a small hole over here there we can put in the clip so now it's attached and we can just guide the cable through there and then uh, yeah it won't go loose in any way so uh, very nice so to summarize what we have uh, we have our documentation here we have our usb cable we have the power supply uh, the small clip to attach the power supply to the box 
and we have the main unit so that's what's in this box of this 9004 gateway hope you like this so please like comment and subscribe